Hi boys and girls, it's Jilly. It's Wednesday, so it's time for art class. It's also G-Day in our Bethlehem Children's School countdown. So today we're going to learn to make a G garden. Garden starts with G. Yesterday it was, hmm, can you guess? Yesterday was F day. So we're going to learn to make some beautiful flowers. Flower starts with F in a G garden. The first thing we're going to need is a permanent marker. We'll need some nice heavy paper and some washable markers like Crayolas or the washable markers we had at school, and you'll need a cup of water. The first thing we're going to do is draw some circles. I think I'll move this up here. I can't really see it, hold on. And we're going to draw some circles. I'd like to do five circles. We can do some big circles, some small, and some medium. I'm going to do a medium circle over here. Pause for my cat. Okay, here we go. My cat didn't know that C is for cat, not G. Here we go, one circle. And you're going to do another circle just inside it. I might do a very big circle up here and a small circle inside it. I'm going to do a circle here and another circle inside it. And I might do a big one right over here and another circle inside it. And I need another one. Where should I put it, you guys? Maybe a little circle right over here. And another one inside it. So if we did five circles on the outside and five circles on the inside, how many did we draw? Let's look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten circles. The next part is we're going to do some designs inside the circles that look like flowers. So, let's see, I might do some circles colored in and do a pattern. One big circle, three going out. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. That flower's done. I might try something like this. A circle on the inside, colored in. And then a football shape around. Football shape, football shape, football shape, football shape. What does that look like? If you spy my flowers over here, you might notice it looks a little bit like a daisy. I might try another daisy with long petals. So I'll start here with a circle and then do a smile and a frown, and a smile, and a frown, and a smile, and a frown, smile, frown. Do you see those are soft curves? All the way around. Soft curves all the way around. Let's see, what else could I do? Oh, maybe I'll try lines coming out. Out, 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 
and more circles on the inside. Hmm. What if I did this, a circle? So now I'm just kind of doing designs. This is called doodling. You can doodle inside your flowers until you make some beautiful flowers on the insides of your circles. Let's see, I need to do one more. I think I'll do a circle with dots, and then some lines, and then the next step, boys and girls, is to do some designs on the outside circle. Do you see how this one has points? This one has lines, this has bumps, this has flower petals, and this has circles. Let's try little circles all the way around. Do you see how each flower has some circles, but they're all in a different way? This part of the design takes a little while. Circle, 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 some good math practice would be to count all of your circles. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. One flower is done. Let's try those flower petals. It's like this, curve, 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 oh, curve. This curve is going behind that flower, so it had to end the line. Curve goes behind, curve, 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 curve. This one went off the page. Curve, 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 curve. That's a very big flower. This time, I think I'm going to try just some lines coming out. Lines, lines, lines. So we're using lines and curves. And maybe at the end of my lines, some circles. That's a very interesting flower too. Okay, and one right there. And this one, I'm going to try some bumpy lines. So around, 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 ready? Bump, bump, bump. Bump, like I'm making a whole bunch of letter B's. Bump, 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 bump. And the very last one, how about some triangles? Out to a point. Those are called, do you remember when a curve makes a point? It's a sharp curve, like a triangle. Here we go, 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 here we go. Here we go. All right, now we still have one, two, three, four, five flowers and they need this part. What is this long part called? The stem. The stem is a long line, but you're going to fill it in with color, so you'll need two lines next to each other. Ready? Watch this. One line down, but we need to fill it in, so I'm going to put another one going in the same direction. A stem. Here comes this stem. One line down, but you need one next to it because those are pretty big flowers. They're kind of heavy. They need a strong stem. Here comes this one down. Oh, that's a curvy flower. And down. Three stems. Two to go. This one's way up here, boys and girls. So when my stem comes down, will I draw it right through that flower? Goodness, no. I'll come down and stop. Then I pick up my marker and pick up where I left off. Now it looks like that flower is behind this flower. And this little guy will have his stem coming out right here. So now five flowers and five stems. The next part is going to be using our markers. So I'm going to pause the video. Hello, boys and girls. 
Now we're going to try some marker work. The markers, when adding a little water, will make watercolor. Watch this. I'm going to fill in my stem like this. Oh, do you know what I forgot down here, boys and girls? Some petals. Let's do some petals on the leaves. Ready? Or leaves, not petals, leaves on the stems. Curve line up, curve line down. Curve line up, curve line down. Curve, curve. So leaves on flowers are kind of like petals. This one's bumping into that one. So I won't draw the whole thing. This one might have a nice skinny leaf. And, hmm, let's see. This one has a leaf. And this one has a leaf. You can also do some designs inside the leaf. A line down, line, line, line down, line, line, line down, line, line. There we go. Okay, back to the coloring. So I'm taking my green marker and going inside the green. Now, the thing is, you don't even have to fill it all in because the water will do the job for us. I'm going to try two different kinds of green. So you can leave some white showing inside your black lines, boys and girls. The reason we used a permanent marker for our drawing is we don't want the black to bleed. It's called bleeding when the color moves with the water. We want the black to stay as a nice outline. So that's why we did that. So I'm just coloring inside those stems and leaves and you'll notice I'm not filling it all in green because the water is going to do the magic work for us. Okay, I'm done with that part. Now I can decide what colors I'd like to make my flowers. I think I'm going to use some warm colors for this flower. So I'm going to use some orange, do you remember what other colors are warm, boys and girls? There's my yellow, comes next. That's right, red, yellow, and orange. There I go. And you'll notice, holding it near the bottom, so I can really put the color where I want it. But I'm not filling it in, and that's okay because the water is going to do the work for us. Going around and around and around and around, around and around, and around and around. So that one hmm, is just yellow and orange. This time I'm going to try hmm, pink. So you're going to fill in all the petals and all the insides with some washable marker. And it's okay if you don't fill the whole thing in because the water that we're going to use will do it. I'm going to pause it and finish this part. Okay, boys and girls, I finished coloring it in. Here's what it looks like with just marker. It's pretty. There's some yellow, red, and orange flowers, some pink, purple, and red flowers. Now it's ready for the water. Not watercolor today, just water and markers. I'm going to take my brush with some water, and now I'm just going to paint over the marker. And can you see what's happening? The marker color starting to, the word is called bleed. 
The color is coming out with the water and it's turning into watercolor. You see how that purple that I markered now looks like purple paint? I'm still gonna wash my brush, boys and girls, because I don't want the pink and the purple to mix. Here I go, I'm filling in the petal and it's okay to go a little bit outside the lines because it makes it look a little dreamy. Here I go. Painting in the petals. Do you see how now the pink marker is spreading with the water and filling in the pink petals? Just brushing and brushing. It's kind of like a little magic trick, boys and girls. If my brush touches the purple, it's okay because then it's a pinky purple. Pinky purple petal, that would be good for P day. I need a little more water, not a whole lot. And we're blending and blending and blending. Blending, that's a good B word. Here we go. A little more water, moving our color around. So now I have a, oh, I wonder what will happen on the inside of the red, ready? Turn that brush around. Oh, now the red is blending out into the purple. That's a very pretty flower. I do love it. Hey, really wash my brush really well. I don't want any red to get on my yellow. I'm gonna move to my yellow flower. Ready? I'm going around the yellow circle and the water is helping the marker spread out. I'm going into the orange part now. And any white I left is blended in by the marker. I'm gonna wash my brush a little and try the same thing around those circles that I painted. There, that flower changed. Let's see how this flower will change. Do you see this flower? It has some red. And when I go around like this, the red turns into paint. Let's see what happens. There's a little white and a little orange, ready? If I go around and around, do you see how the color is bleeding out? Pretty cool, right? Do, 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 do. Now you don't have to add water to all of the flowers that you colored, but if you want the colors to look watercolory, that's what you will do. And now I can even pull some paint into the white parts of the paper. Do you see that it's moving around? I like that one. Wash, wash, wash. Don't want any orange over here. This one, I'm going to drip it. Let's see what happens. There are the purples blending and the pink is blending. What happens to our petals? If you use too much water, boys and girls, it will get very washed out. So if you want light colored flowers, you would use a lot of water, but I think I don't want them too washed out. That one turned out pretty nice too. Okay, I have one flower left. If I had five and I did one, two, three, four, I have one left. Here I go around and around and the red marker is blending with the water and covering up the paper out and out. Oh, that's cool. I did little orange lines and those are blending. Oh, I like it very much. All my flowers are painted. Now I'm gonna take a smaller brush and do the stems. Do you see how now the green starts to look like watercolor? Pretty cool trick, huh guys? Wadi-doo, wadi-doo. I like the skinny brush for the stems, but I might switch back for those petals. When you're painting and you see some wet paint, like I see some wet red petal, be very careful not to get the green in it. So I'm gonna keep my brush a little bit away from the wet paint of the red flower. There we go. Almost done. This one's done. Oh, we'll paint in that leaf. I'm going to switch back to 
to this brush. This brush holds more water. La dee do, la dee do. What do you guys think? How's it turning out? One petal left. And there we go. See how the marker spreads out? Oh my gosh, I called it a petal again. One leaf left, you guys. Oh, Jilly. All right, so I have five painted flowers. I have five painted stems, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten leaves. Now, what I'd like to do is give it a little bit of a wash in the background for the sky. This time I'm going to use the watercolors, you guys. So here they come. Here they are. I'm going to use my blue. Get my brush with some plain old water. Oh, you can't see that. There it is. Just some plain water. You can't see it. I take my blue and watch. Drip a drop in there. There it goes. It's spreading. And it will only go where I put the water. I'm going to wash my brush and try that again so I can show you. Here's the plain water. I take a little bit of blue and drip, drop, and it only goes where I put the water. That's how I'm going to make my sky and how I'm making sure it doesn't touch the flower petals and become a big blobby mess. I'm going to put some water here, being very careful not to touch. And you could also do this with your blue marker, boys and girls, and do a little bleeding that way. That would be pretty. Okay, and bring the sky down, down, down. Sky, sky, sky. Oop, I didn't wash my brush very well that time. Drip, drop. Drip, drop, drip, drop, drip, drip, drop, drip, drop, drip, drop. Ready? It's getting there, boys and girls. Okay. Drip, drop, drip, drop, drip, drop, drip, drop, drip, drop. Do you see how the paint is only going where I put the water? And now, oops, almost done. A little patch of blue over here for the, uh-oh. I call that opening the gate. I open the gate by touching the leaf and the water, and then made a little gate for the green to escape. So we'll cover it up with blue. See if that will work. Tricky, tricky paint. Still pretty. All right, now I'm going to take just a smidge of my green and do some grass growing up by these plants the bottom of my garden. I'm doing some up and down brush strokes. And boys and girls, that is the end of our lesson. And there is my flower garden. What do you think? I can't lift it up because all the color will run. But that's my flower garden. I hope you had a really good time with this lesson and please send me your pictures. Love you guys. Bye.